Hey folks, welcome back. I got my coffee. We're going to Orange County. Uh, Mike Golf Juliet. Oops. Enter. We'll activate it from right here. Uh, good enough. Um, got some fuel filled up. Got that coffee. And we're looking all a okay. We'll put the full PFD on. We're going to um, 221 heading. Always about right. To back to Orange. What's a 22? 22 is runway 22, Orange County. Remain out of. Let's get the weather. November 12th. Columbia County Airport. Automated weather observation. One, three, two, niner. Zulu weather. Wind. Calm. Visibility. One, zero. Clear. Below. One, two, thousand. Temperature. Three, Celsius. Dew point. One, altimeter. Three, zero, two, five. Columbia County Airport Notum. Runway two, one. And lighting to remain out of service till November 12th. Okay, we got the weather. We don't need the lights. Uh, I set both barometers, uh, mixtures out for taxi, and we're good. We're going to head over to uh, Sky Acres. I'm sorry, Sky Manor. Uh, I'm going to go Columbia get County, White Diamond, turning left base. I'm going to go get. I'm going to go get Columbia. Joe first, and then we're going to go uh, probably with the cameras off. Um, so that's going to be okay, and uh, we're all looking pretty good. Beautiful morning, beautiful day. Uh, like this time of year because the air is crisp. Columbia County, White Diamond, turn final runway 21, Columbia. Airplanes perform awesome. And then we already have out on the approach. We'll get them on the way out uh, for flight following. But not a lot of traffic in the area. A diamond uh, landing might be the the uh, sure that is uh, big flight aviation at Orange County airplane coming in. I don't know of anybody else who uh, has diamonds in the area besides Take Flight, which are awesome airplanes. Yeah, it's a diamond plane. A uh, Take Flight plane it looks like. Take Flight Aviation, Orange County Airport. You're looking to fly, folks, get some training. Uh, suggest uh, one of the best in the country. And right here in uh, upstate New York, in Orange County. We're going to do the checklist. The checklist, and we'll get out of here. Already checked in the surfaces, already checked all that fun stuff, walk around the plane. Um, seat belts are on, flaps are all up. We, we just pre taxi's done. We'll do the run up, brakes are set, mixture's full rich. Um, we're on the proper tank, we're going to trim for takeoff. We are trimmed for takeoff. Flight controls are free and clear. I've done that already. But we'll do them again for you. Looks good. Free and correct. Um, instruments are all in the green. Looking great here. And then the mixtures, best power. Mixtures full rich, obviously. We'll go to 1900, 2000. For the RPMs. That's uh, close enough. And then we're going to check the mags. So, right mag check. Nice drop. Columbia County, White Diamond, uh, clear to both. Two one, Columbia. Left mag check. Nice drop. EGTs are climbing. That is good. Back to both. Okay, that's checked out good. Next thing we're going to do is the cycle, the prop. Oil pressure drop. RPM drop, and we're looking for anything on the windscreen here of any oil. Looking good, perfect. Put that. F we do this. I know you guys do know this, but uh, guys, we're just learning. Make sure to put this full forward. Don't forget, because you don't take off without this full forward, you're not getting your max your max RPMs. So full forward. We don't have a vacuum pump. We're good. Voltage are great. We're on the green. Perfect. Oil pressure. Oil temperature. Friction lock is loosened, and we're good there. And then we're gonna go back to a thousand. I like to pull the mixture out again. Put a valve to plugs. OK, 
Okay, and then we're going to put flaps 15. Okay, mixture is best, not yet. We're going to go back to that. We don't need pitot heat. Pump, fuel pump is on. Doors are locked. Laying light is on. And strobes are on. And we're good to go. And full power. And we're going to rotate at 60 knots. Okay, checklist complete. That's how that's done. Pretty easy. Um, here. Make sure where that diamond is here. Columbia County traffic. Anybody for base of final 2-1? Everything's clear to Johnson Bar here. Columbia County traffic. Uh, Mooney 8, 7 November taking 2-1 for departure. Columbia County. All right, Mitchell's full rich now. Full, full, full rich. Up is full forward. All looking good. Everything is looking good. We're all in the green. Okay, full power. It's coming in, nice and easy. And full power is in right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. We're 60. We're at 55. We're at 60. We can get up here. I do put the gear up early, and the guys who've been watching know, because at under 80 miles an hour, it's easy to put up. Anything over that, it's difficult to put up at times. But if I do have an engine issue, it's just as easy to put the gear back down in a manual gear. County traffic. We need a partner pattern to the southwest. See you. All right, get that power pulled back. We are cruising. Awesome climb performance. Flaps are up, gear is up, fuel pump's coming off, laying light's coming off. And we are just going to wait a few more seconds, we'll switch over to Albany. Six, direct KZAZ. Station uh, 8 Julia Kilo, uh, leaving 6000, clear direct KZAZ. Thank you, 8 Julia Kilo. Albany, good morning, Mooney, November 6, 8, 8, 7, November, VFR request. Mooney, uh, 6, 8, 8, 7, November, Albany, your approach, uh, set request. Just departed uh, Columbia County, 1 Bravo 1, climbing through 1,700 for 4,500, requesting flight following to Orange County. Uh, Mike Golf, Juliet. Seven November, squawk three five three six, and I done. Three five three six, I done. Eight seven. Seven five Lima Bravo, descend maintain three thousand. Five for three thousand, five Lima Bravo. Twenty eight seven November, radar contact four miles southwest of the uh, Columbia County Airport, Albany altimeter three zero two three south two. Two three, and we're climbing through one two thousand two hundred. Roger, altitude check. V for altitude, your discretion proceed on course. My discretion proceed on course. Eight seven November. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go to forty five. Lima Bravo, Albany Airport. That's your uh, one to two. We're gonna go to forty five uh, because yeah, that's affirmative. Uh, five Lima Bravo's got it in sight. Um, it is uh, evens plus five. Five Lima Bravo, clear to visual purge runway two eight. And uh, 2,500 is is a little low, so we go to 45. If you're IFR, it's evens plus zero. You're at 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. That's how that works. All right, we're still all in the green. Everything looks great. 
Albany departure, Flint 33, 1100. Flint 33, Albany departure, radar contact, VFR altitude, your discretion, stay on course. VFR altitude, my discretion, on course, Flint 33. Sears 5 Lima Bravo, contact tower 119.5, good day. Over to tower 1955, 5 Lima Bravo. Station 8, Juliet, Kilo to Center, maintain 3000, advise me of Columbia County Airport site. 3000, we'll let you know, 8 Juliet Kilo. Well, how do I like this Dynon Skyview HDX so far? I've had them for uh, over a year now, a year and about a few months. Um, I love them. I think that these uh, the, the new stuff that's coming out, um, very self-explanatory and very user-friendly. Uh, it's 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 amazing. Oh, I do love them. I love how it gives you a lot of information. I have no regrets of my of my setup over here. I like the screens, the dual screens. They're already putting a hole everywhere. Already had the panel out. I want to just add a screen. It is more money, but at the day, at the end of the day, you won't say I should have. And one thing I hate doing is saying I should have. That's why I saved a little bit more money to put a second screen up. Bravo. Excuse me, eight Julie Kilo. Station eight Julie Kilo. IFR cancellation is received. Squawk one two zero zero. Have a good day. So the. The fog is gone. I'm using the rudder pedals to steer. Uh, winds are uh, 15, five, uh, 15 knots out of 299. Just basically northwest. And um, crosswind components 15 knots. I got crosswind 15 knots, and you can tell that because our course heading is 221. Um, but we are going two three zero, so it's almost a nine a nine degree uh, crosswind correction. If you want to go this way, okay, and the wind's pushing you this way, that nose has still got to go in some kind of direction, so it's going to go this way. So, but with the correction you do when you're flying, the plane is actually flying straight to get your destination but you're really flying sideways. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty cool, because if you didn't do that, you would end up all the way over here. So it's, that's why it's basically a wind correction. The big airliners do it too, you still notice it. I don't notice it up here that I'm flying sideways because you don't notice it, because you don't know where you're going. We I mean, know where you're going, but you don't have any reference to see if you're sideways. You can see here, uh, that the course heading is 221, but I'm going 230 to stay on course. Leaving 2000, clear direct. So I'm flying sideways. 2000, clear direct. Nine degrees sideways. 65620 is going to 4500. Oh, we're looking good. We're already, already at 45 yeah, almost. We're going to start trimming down a little bit. Um, and, we'll, and we'll pull this power back. RPMs. Full pressure is only at 23. And uh, we'll pull this back a little bit, and then we'll get the mixture out a little bit. Approaching 45, thank you. And flying IFR with the Dynon screens is amazing. And I know some guys, more like the old timers, which I hear you, don't like the, you know, if it goes out or whatever, but anything can go out at any time. You can lose your vacuum pump, and you have no instruments as well. But... For me to make my mind at ease, that's why I have two, because I can simply go over here, uh, go to PFD and have a PFD screen on that side. If this, if this went out... 28th of November, contact New York Approach, 132.75. You yeah, have a good morning. 32.75, good morning, 8th of November. Um, oh, it's great. And I have this back up here as well, which gives you speed, altitude, bank, um, all that. So I got multiple backups here, and I, got, I think I got this. New York, good morning, uh, Mooney 688, some of the members with you, 4,500, going to Orange County, Mike Golf, Juliet. 6887, November, New York approach, Stuart on 73024, maintain VFR. Well, 24, maintain VFR, 87 November. Um, so, yeah, so I'm confident um, that, if, God forbid, I lose something, I could quickly go into that screen and be okay.
for the Hudson River we are already, and we're cruising along pretty good, 4,500. So we're about 22 inches, 24 and a half RPM, we're going to bring that back more. Um, we're at 68% power, uh, doing 100 and about 40 true, 137, 136, 138 true, which is nice. And we're cruising right along. Uh, 13 knot crosswind component. But a nice day. And listen to the weather at Orange County. Probably using 2 2 still. Indicator, uh, true. Zero, four. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, zero, four Celsius. Dew point, zero, zero Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, two, three. Relax. Density altitude, minus one thousand, one hundred. Orange County Airport, Monday. Ah, uh, two, 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 six, doesn't really matter. We'll hear what goes on there and what they're doing. Uh, probably using, uh, uh, no one's in the pattern over there? Can't be, it's impossible. Oh, uh, well, maybe this guy. Maybe not. Uh, we'll, we'll use go in right, we can either do 2622, it doesn't really matter. Pull up draft. So we have the ridges over here. The wind that comes out, of course, the west, which is here. So we're getting pushed over to the right, so we're crabbing a little bit. Um, but the, the mountains over here in the ridge line, also, uh, the wind comes over, it causes some unstable air. 322 Alpha Sierra, contact. Uh, and that's, that's all normal stuff. Contact Binghamton approach. A couple of student pilots follow me, which is really cool. Uh, again, I'm not an instructor, so don't listen to anything I tell you. Um, but, you know, Talk to your instructor, but that's the, the bumps that you get and the turbulent air that you get is all normal stuff. There's no sense to panic. Um, one thing, if you're in heavy turbulent air, you just want to stay out of the yellow in your airspeed indicator and stay in the green, uh, and your plane's not going to fall apart. Um, you don't want to fly into thunderstorms. Even airliners uh, don't do that. So it's it's all okay stuff. You just got to you know look at your POH. Make sure you're doing everything to your airspeed, your, your airplane specs and vacations, and you know, you're not going to have an issue. And do, you know, windy days, uh, should you practice? Absolutely practice on a windy day. Now, you don't want to practice when it's too windy over, you know, what you can't and cannot handle, obviously. You talk to your instructor about that. Um, and usually, as a student pilot, they sign you off on what the speed they want you to go on, on the, um, the, the wind that day. Uh, yeah, practice. And the Orange County Airport, uh, Mike off Juliet here, it's an awesome airport to practice. Two runways, long and wide. Uh, and one's 5,000, one is 36 or 3,800, um, 26, I believe it is. Um, that's a great place to practice because if you're coming in, the wind's, you know, you have a lot of runway and it's wide enough where you can practice because you don't practice crosswind landings or you don't practice in the wind a little bit, you know, 10, 15 knot. You're gonna, at some point, you're going to go somewhere, and the wind's going to change on you as you're going in flight, because the winds here could be different down in Ocean City, Maryland. So, if you have a crosswind, you know, what are you going to do? Not land there? You're gonna, you, so, you have to definitely practice all that stuff, and keep practicing. You know, aileron into the wind, use your rudder, you know, it's, it's, it's all normal stuff. Practice makes perfect. And I was, <laughs> trust me, I was there. I was really nervous to even talk to AT I was even nervous to talk to ATC. I almost didn't want to even two three seven seven I went to uh, controlled um, a control tower uh, airport because I didn't want to talk. That's all normal. We've all been there. But looking good out here. What a beautiful day. It's almost time for breakfast.
Looking good, using a one amp. Recharging nice. Roll in the green. Really nice setup here. Cylinders are low threes. Um, and uh, EGTs are really good. Everything's looking great. The plane's flying beautiful. I'll put this on full. Got no traffic in the area. I'm just like surprised. Like, where is everybody? I know, you know it's actually Wednesday. Uh, so maybe um, part of it. We're 23 nautical miles away. And uh, we're going to be going downhill soon here. Got no traffic. So surprise the flight school. Take flight aviation. It's not crazy busy this morning. Yep, looks good. Looks really good. Yeah, we're 23 nautical miles away there. Uh, 10 minute ETA. Yes, we're good. We can go down to 20, 3500. We'll go down to 35 slowly. Let's hit our discretion. New York approach, Diamond 4192, Charlie, good morning. 4192, Charlie, go ahead. 4192, Charlie, is a Diamond DA20. We are currently five miles to the northeast of Orange County. Um, at 5,500, we're requesting VFR flight following to um, Oxford, Connecticut. 4192 Charlie Squawk 0321. Airport Identify. 0321 Identify. Yeah, New York approach, uh, Booney 6887 November. Has Orange County in sight? We can cancel with you, sir. 6887 November radar services terminated squad 1200 frequency change approved. Frequency 1200, uh, good day, 8 7 November. 4192 Charlie radar contact 5 west of Duchess at uh, 5500 feet, that's not 2302. Okay, we're on our own. No traffic. Got the one guy way out here, there's no traffic, so let's give, uh, let ATC worry about one less plane. Right. And uh, we'll go. We have eyes and we'll get there. Airport's in sight. We have no traffic in the area. You still have to watch out for people who don't have transponders, okay? In this airspace, you don't have to have an ADSB or even a transponder. You don't have to even have a radio. So you, you like you feel the wind coming over the ridge there. So you need to still be vigilant and look all over the place. Because it's just how it is. Now to get into, I mean, you probably can't see it, uh, but to get into this circle, this ring, okay, New York airspace here, you have to have ADSB in and out here. You have to be squawking and having all that fun stuff here. But in these, like Orange County, this class area airport uh, airspace, you don't need anything. So we don't, I don't know if we have anybody on the field that doesn't have a radio. We have a couple experimentals um, with the small little engines on the back, but I think they transmit, but they don't have to. So you always got to be County looking. Advisory. Wind P four zero at four. Visibility better than ten miles. Altimeter three zero P P. The runway looking for traffic. We'll use two two. Okay. And, uh, four for now. Uh, we can switch if, if you need to use two two. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we'll uh, come in behind you. Orange County traffic. Orange County traffic. Red and white Archer, just about uh, three and a half miles north of the field, descending out of 4200. Heard the traffic. Uh, we'll set up for a right downwind for runway two two. We'll teardrop in from the west side. Good to hear. So, it got busy. I mean, Orange County Airport, the reason why it's so busy, not just because of the flight school, um, but it's a great airport. I mean, it, it's, it's all, it has a VOR, 
RNAV, um, ILS approaches, two nice runways, LED lighting at night. Uh, I mean, they take, you know, it's a county airport, and a lot of the county airports are not really uh, ran that clean and, and landscaping, and these guys out there cutting the grass, you know, when it snows, they're plowing, you know, constantly. It's such a really, really, you know, good airport, um, and it's busy. A lot, you get a lot of perks uh, of uh, being um, this airport, whether you're tied down or hangered, um, you have a lot of good things going for you here, which is nice. And it's centered. You know, it's it's got a lot of areas where you can go where you're not off the beaten path. All right, so we're going to start slowing down, slowing down. All right, our, our carburetor temperature is 60 degrees. I'm always looking at the carburetor temperature and looking at the RPMs, make sure we don't have any you know, weird drops in RPMs. When we hit that, hit that car P as soon as you see something like that. And if it's nothing, it's nothing. The car P's not gonna kill it, not gonna hurt you, so. But uh, just, there's no sense, I don't see much moisture. But, you know, you, you just gotta just keep looking at that this time of year. Uh, Chester traffic, arrow 644 is about eight miles west. We'll be setting up for left downwind 35, Chester. Orange County traffic, good morning, Mooney, November 6, 8, 8, so November 10 miles out to the northeast, inbound 2-2, Orange County. Orange County traffic, weather right Archer, uh, just uh, three miles west of the field, maneuvering for the right downwind for runway 22, Orange County traffic. All right, we got somebody 500 feet. We have, I think, the Archer turning, oh, that's not the Archer, that's uh, Tango Alpha, I don't know who that is. So let's see. I got oh. approaching I got, altitude. Got that plane. Orange County pattern altitude is fourteen hundred. We'll bug that. And if we can't go straight in, we'll go. You know, go out, make a left. We'll see. All right, over Montgomery area. Airport's there. Runway is there. We'll switch tanks later. I don't like switching tanks this close to the airport on a, an approach. Do it on the ground. Cause Orange County automated advisory. Wind T10 at five. Visibility better than ten miles. Altimeter three zero three two for runway. Listen for traffic. Because Godfrey is a hiccup with that transfer. Orange County, Red and White Archer, uh, mile and a half. Uh, I'm sorry, two miles west of the field, maneuvering for a right downwind for runway two two. Orange County traffic. It's Orange County traffic, moving five miles out now to the uh, northeast inbound 22. We'll be looking for the Archer, Orange County. Sure, we're descending out of 2,800 feet, and uh, we'll join the pattern here once we descend to pattern altitude and turn inbound for 45 for the right downwind for runway 22. Okay, we'll be looking for you, sir. Great day for flying, isn't it? It's awesome. It beats golf. For sure. <laughs> Approaching altitude. Traffic. Cessna is 10 out practice while us from late 4 on County. All right, let's slow her down. Orange County traffic. Moody's on a two and a half mile final. 2 2, full stop, Orange County. Orange County, uh, red and white archer, uh, 45 degrees right downwind, runway 2 2, Orange County traffic in the pattern. The Moody has the archer in sight. We'll maintain visual separation. Orange County traffic. We'll be looking out for you. We'll uh, we'll extend it for you here. We've got a two-mile file now. Gotcha. Vaseline. Undercarriage is locked. Mixture is coming in. Prop is full forward. We'll throw in some flaps. Five hundred. 500 feet on the ground, one white, one red. We are good on the glide. Little trim. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, speed is going good. And we'll throw in full flaps. We got flaps full and trim. Archer's midfield right down wind here. Orange County traffic, Moody short final, 2-2, full stop orange. 
Block any traffic, uh, beam the numbers for runway 22. Uh, C traffic on final will follow in for number two. One thing about us. Ass undercarriage again, mixture. Air check again. County traffic, red room white archer turning base, orange county traffic. Made it to Orange County. Orange County traffic, would be clear to two Orange. Oh, my, my thing came off a little bit. Okay, we made it to Orange County. Beautiful flight. We're gonna go get Joe. Um, and go to Sky Manor. Folks, thanks again for flying along. You know, I appreciate it. Um, like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. On Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I don't know where. Okay, traffic shot through Fort Wilson Sierra, lining up runway two two, departing the uh, area to the south. Okay. Go to go to the tie downs, pick okay, up traffic. Joe. That's two and a half miles out. Uh, That's mile basically. Low post only it's basically our day. We're gonna go head down there and uh, just chill and get some breakfast and come back. Any questions, guys? Pilot Fun 101 at gmail.com. And of course, you guys want to check out my website. Uh, that's been live now for a few months. Thank you guys. Uh, well, maybe six months now. Okay, traffic calling. Thank you guys for the uh, shirt orders and the mugs. And, uh, I appreciate that. I'm busy. You guys been keeping Michelle pretty busy. <laughs> to help me out with that stuff. You guys see appreciate turn here? I appreciate that support. Yeah, we're going to break off behind you. Okay, thank you. And uh, that's basically about it. Day is over after breakfast. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, fly safe, be safe. I'll see you.